Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And just imagine being able to head out and call the wild into the woods with your 12 gauge Cassiator pump, your 20 gauge Norton semi-automatic shotgun, or even your 12 gauge Caversham over under shotgun. Well, soon that could just happen. I mean, just imagine how cool it's gonna be to be able to actually track down a dime potential Tom Turkey. I don't know, maybe it's because I just love turkey hunting and I've been hunting since I was old enough to hunt. But there's nothing cooler than having a gobbler come in less than 50 yards away full strut and gobble man it is just incredible my first turkey i ever got came in with three gobblers and they were less than 50 yards away on the back side of the hill and all of a sudden i heard a triple gobble all three toms gobbled simultaneously almost exactly the same time and i tell you what it was one of the coolest moments of turkey hunting I've ever had. All right, we just got eyes on a real nice Tom coming up over this next ridge right here. He's about 20 yards away. And he's down, big gobbler down with a 12 gauge pump. Man, that thing's gonna look awesome in our trophy lodge. Very nice, and he's gonna score 46.8. Pretty nice gobbler, and we took him down with a 12 gauge pump. But the reason I think, well, the reason I pretty much know that these turkeys are going to be coming to Call of the Wild soon is because there was a recent tweet on Call of the Wild's Twitter channel and well, let me just show you and tell you a little bit more about that. So it was actually on the Hunter Classics Twitter and it basically says, Happy Holiday Hunters. It feels good to be writing a status update again. And you know why? It means we have some really juicy stuff to start talking about. So it basically says, we have a sneak peek coming of what you can expect for the year 2020. And then it says, gobble, gobble and it shows a picture of a new model of the turkeys for the hunter classic and why this has something to do with call of the wild because since they're working on something on the hunter classic usually they kind of implement that into the game for call of the wild and eventually and it just so happens that we were just asking a lot about turkeys recently i think within the last three months we made a video saying how much we really want turkeys and i know everyone's scared to talk about turkeys but i think this might actually be the chance that turkeys are coming to call the wild in 2020 and it's gonna be awesome now most people are probably gonna be hunting them with shotguns and eventually yes they're for sure they're gonna come but a matter of how soon we just don't know well when they come out i'm probably gonna be the one hunting in a tree stand to try and get a diamond gobbler with a bow now that is what i'm talking about but with all that said, it basically says soon your souls will be safe once again. The creepy stairs that the current turkey models give you when in a tree stand <laughs> will be a thing of the past. So basically that means that the turkeys will stare at you and they look like they're going to try and attack you. But in real life, turkeys will never look at you like they're going to attack you. In fact, if they even look at you and they see that you're looking at them, they're going to bolt. They're going to be gone. I've gotten uh, eight or nine turkeys in my life, so I kind of know what I'm talking about. But then again, it says a brand new model for the turkeys are in the process of being finalized. And this is the latest image of the process. Please note, this is not the final image. Things like the eyes and other details are yet to be finished. So, I mean, that looks pretty realistic. The fan, the tail feathers on this and the wings, those are pretty much spot on. Okay, guys, we just spotted something that I kind of lost train of thought on what we're talking about. That is a massive bull elk right there. Look at the size of the rack on that thing. Perfectly symmetrical. That's a giant. A lot of times you'll see a bull like that and it's going to have some deductions on it. But this thing is perfectly symmetrical. It has four huge back tines on it and it has some really wide, tall tines. Really good fronts on them. I really want to get them. I'm just hoping that we actually have the elk collar on us because right now we have the shotgun and the bow, but it looks like we're lucky enough to have the collar. Now, just gotta find some cover and see if we can't get set up. I think we're gonna use the carbon recurve bow. Well, as luck would have it, we have pretty much every elk coming in. All the bulls are coming except for the big one. He's hanging tight and I don't know if this is gonna work out. A lot of times in the Hunter Classic, the big elk will hang back in the end. Well, I mean, the, it's pretty much the same thing in Call of the Wild, which is really realistic, but if you're trying to bow hunt these guys, <laughs> It's pretty difficult because, they're, oh, that's him, that's him. Okay, guys, this just might work out. Here he comes. Here he comes. Except there's another small bull right behind us. 
So yeah, he just took off. He was kind of stuck in that tree for a couple seconds, but uh, he managed to figure out his way around it. He's still right there though, so he's not super spooked, but the fact that we had a small elk come behind us, that was not very lucky, but we're gonna try and call him back in. It's gonna be a little while till he calms down. But in the meantime, I also got a gobble from another Tom right next to us here. So we're gonna see if we can't call him in. And then, see if we can't get him and follow, possibly maybe this big bull elk. Got another pretty decent buck out there as well. Looks like uh, maybe like a 150s black tail. Is that him? I don't think. No, it's another eh, small medium bull. See, the small bulls have no trouble coming in at all. Okay, guys, we just got eyes on our gobbler. He's right there. He just was full strut right behind us, about 40 yards out. Now, we have the carbon recurve. I kind of wish we had... Yeah, this isn't going to work. We got to go prone. Okay, so we managed to figure out a way to go prone. Now, the thing is, when you have the bow in your hand, you can't just go prone. So we figured out a way to go prone. Luckily, he was in that tree, so I don't think he's going to see us, but I see his head right there popping out. This is going to be our chance. It's about 20 yards out. We'll put it right underneath his neck. <laughs> he smoked. I honestly don't know why that didn't drop, but he's definitely smoked, and he just hipped over right there. So we just got a nice gobbler down with the carbon recurve, and take a look at that tracer arrow. That is incredible. And I tell you what, I can't wait until Call of the Wild eventually figures out a way to make the tracer arrows stay consistently lit as they're flying through the air i'm really hoping that this big bull comes back but he shouldn't be too far away but we'll grab our gobbler here he's gonna score 44.2 and that was pretty awesome to take down a nice gobbler with the carbon recurve now another thing if call of the whale could ever have some kind of a, a recurve bow where we could actually hunt with it i mean decently uh, the one we have now, you can't really use that very efficiently because it's, it's so inaccurate. It's not even funny. This thing, you can actually, I mean, there's no sight on it. It's the same concept, but you can actually aim, you know, with the broadhead or, or whatever. And you kind of know where you're going to hit out to like 40 yards. Call of the wild. Good luck trying to hit something at 40 yards. We might as well sell him though. And let's get ready. Got another hen call behind us, but I'm pretty sure that big bull's not too far away. All right, so we just managed to sneak over to the edge here, and I'm pretty sure that bull is right on the back side of this woods line here. So we put out a couple of calls, and he should be coming back. Now, I usually find a lot of bulls in this area, but I never find monsters. So the fact that we found this guy, I'm pretty excited about this one. Oh my god, you guys, there he is. Look at the size of the rack on that thing. Just a massive bull. He's hanging tight in the back, though. He's about 30 out. It's really hard to get a distance on him, but I know... Okay, these two bulls are so close. We gotta try and back up just a little bit. Give us just a little bit of space to be able to take a shot on that bull. We can take up to like a 40 yard shot. I would ideally like to have him less than 20, but in this case, I don't think that's gonna happen. So we're gonna have to draw back and we're gonna have to make something happen here soon. Oh, that was so awesome. And we just smoked him. Oh, okay. Didn't get double lung, hit a little bit too low. I was hoping we'd catch the heart, but he's still absolutely smoked. And with the single lung, that giant bull is definitely going down. That is awesome. Well guys, it's been about 20 minutes now. We gave them a little bit of time to bed down because even with the single lung, they can still run a pretty good ways, especially the bull elk and the recurve. But that right there is a sight that every hunter loves to see. A giant bull down right in the middle of this wide open field. This is incredible. Let's go over and go take a look at him. He's gonna be a giant. Well guys, here he is and look at the size of this bull. Now, in my opinion, anything over a 330 is an absolute monster Roosevelt elk. And this guy right here, he should be all of 330 plus. He really should be. And he's going to score 330.4. That is an absolute giant Roosevelt elk. It's been a while since I got one this big. I'm going to tell you that. Wow. That is a great, great bull. And to be able to take him down with the carbon recurve, that was just an incredible moment. Uh, looks like we had another elk in the background here, but let's take a really cool picture of this guy. So cool. 
So I think we'll go with that right there. That's gonna look awesome. And yeah, let's accept it. I believe we are gonna get it mounted though too, because like I said, anything that's gonna score over 330s, that's a giant. But what do you guys think? Are you guys excited for turkeys? Let me know what you think in the comments below. And I tell you what, I cannot wait. But with that, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Man, that is so cool.